two great teams here already um already familiar here as the reborn knights uh definitely heard of the beefy burrito if i'm not mistaken i believe he is from xbox uh so to make that transition over to pc if that's the case again i may be completely wrong uh pretty sure i have a familiar name for sure uh but regardless he has always been at the top of his game uh so to see them face off a team that's been uh kind of tearing through the competition here with the uh with the 2-0 victory over cream of the crop after and then uh, the 2-1 victory over Vice uh, in round two uh, was their first matchup as far as the series goes. Uh, so they've been uh, definitely on fire ever since that first game with Vice. Uh, they kind of lost uh, when they lost that one. They kind of uh, uh, kind of woke them up a little bit in the tournament. They've been uh, great ever since. Uh, so we have Comp Detroit and Jarl for ninety dollar coaching and a Bonds the Beefy Burrito and Winter Kill for the Reborn Knights. And we're about to get this one underway as the teams have joined their respective sides. Again, we're seeing $90 coaching in orange, and we're seeing Reborn Knights in blue. It's underway. Bonds already putting on some pressure as Winter Kill's going to clean that one up. Didn't take a... Did it. Four seconds in, and Reborn Knights take the 1-0 lead. You see a fantastic play that only can be achieved really by Kong, so we get a perfect kill that sort of drops it back onto the blue side, giving them that edge to hit it first, and Bonds just gets a huge power onto the backboard that they cannot catch, leaving Winter kill that beautiful open net. It was really well. So. Absolutely. No, you're good. It's crazy to see after giving up zero goals in the last series, uh, 90 dollar coaching that is, they surrender a goal within four seconds. Uh, just showing the prob the probability of the talent of this team here um, in Reborn Knights. Again, I talked uh, Beefy Burrito up, but again, it was uh, it was actually Winter Kill with the assist from Bonds uh, that put that one in. So he wasn't even involved in the play, but already one to zero as Detroit's going to try to get up and get a touch. Comp gets a shot off, but a great read from Bonds to get this one out. And Winter Kill is going to play it over to Beefy. Uh, he's going to try to get it out now as Jarl putting on more pressure. Bonds over to the sidewall. Winter Kill going to get the next touch or at least the attempt to touch as he missed that one. Beefy Burrito in the corner able to get a queer out. But Jarl back and waiting for this one and he's going to try to regroup here. Puts it off the sidewall. Bonds back into the zone now. Comp. Going to try to get this one out. Didn't get a touch though. Winter Kill is going to put the pressure on. But Detroit there in the defensive zone as he was in the last series. And Quinn's it up. Jarl needs to get up and get a touch. He does. Winter Kill was right there and ready for that pass. Uh, so great job on the defensive zone again by $90 coaching. Maybe they just weren't expecting the speed out of this Reborn Knight team. Maybe that was the difference in the first little bit as a shot just hangs on the goal line. But Winter Kill able to get this one out. Uh, beefy with a bump on his own teammate, though. That's uh, a little bit dangerous, especially when you're in your own zone. Winter Kill with the demo on comp. Detroit trying to put it back in the zone. Not able to get a touch there. Jarl over the defense, but Bonds able to clean it up temporarily as Comp comes across, tries to get a ceiling shot, but a great touch from Beefy. Over to Winterkill, who gets a touch past Detroit, and now Jarl has to boom it back in the zone. Bonds. It's off the sidewall, but it's a Comp. Beefy with a great save, desperation to get back to that one, and Jarl tries to get a shot. He again is the one to get it out. So Beefy on the defensive in this time. Comp with a great pass over the Jarl and it's wide open, puts it behind Bonds. Great placement behind the defense and Jarl puts it in and now we have a tight game at 2.53 left. It's one to one. Seeing now the retaliation, we've got some great speed, some really great offensive pressure coming in and it's like keep away. They just don't let them have it. They just always kept placing it where they knew they could get the touch first. It was safe plays until you have the net which is really smart to do. Back and forth, uh, yeah, it's definitely smart. And finding the right time strike will be huge in this game. You can definitely tell there's uh, a lot of talent on both teams. Uh, so finding the right opportunity to strike rather than just trying to get any kind of pressure you can here is probably going to be the strategy in this one as this is probably going to be one of the closer matchups uh, in this uh, in this tournament right now, or at least it's shaping up to be. Uh, who knows? <laughs> it's always... Uh, one team might figure out it's it's going to be about who makes the adjustments who can figure out the other team before the other can um and put it on uh as much uh as much harm as much points as you can on the board here uh to try to uh get some feeds like that one from detroit to charlie and he's gonna put this one in so after being down one nothing now it's two to one uh this time now it's in favor of 90 dollars coaching yeah we're seeing some really great speed you know Looks like $90 coaching is just moving a little bit faster and they're always spotting each other out this game. Something I haven't seen yet, which has been really great to see from $90 coaching, is that they're consistently 
making hits that they, their teammates are just ready to follow up on, which is super important at the highest level. No doubt about that. Uh, you want uh, to be able to find a teammate and to anticipate your teammates' touches, because when you do that, uh, you control ball possession, and if you control possession, uh, then <laughs> that is the name of the game, uh, absolutely. Especially at this point in time in Rocket League, the more time of possession that you have, the more better, uh, the more, uh, uh, in theory, the more opportunities on offense that you'll have. Not always the case, but uh, for the most part, that's uh, kind of a rule of thumb there. So, well, right now, $90 Cushion has been doing a great job of doing that. Um, although we have seen a lot of great passing plays from uh, Knight as well as, oh, it's just missed by Winner and Com coins it up and now it's three to one. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter what level of Rocket League you're playing at. You, it, it will become, you know, more far out between, but there will always be mechanical whiffs. Winter Kill had the right idea, but you know, if execution goes wrong and your teammates aren't ready for you to miss, that's just how it, the play will roll out. And, you know, it's unfortunate, but it happens. Unfortunate, but uh, find yourself behind if, if things like that happen. And right now, Reborn Knights, again, they may not have uh, faced a team of this caliber, uh, at least speed-wise, so we'll see what happens. Oh, as a pass from Bonds to Beefy. Beefy just wasn't able to get a touch on that one. Uh, so Comp takes it, has to destroy it. It's going to go off the ceiling here. Jarl's going to try to get a read. Oh, but it's touched away by his teammate. Um, and Detroit maybe didn't know that Jarl was up there and would have had a good angle. Or maybe he just read that uh, the defense was going to get there first and made a touch. Uh, but either way, it kind of destroys their chance now. And Detroit's kind of hanging on the goal line. But a great job of uh, possession to try to get it out. Tries to get a ground pinch. Uh, escape harm temporarily as... Uh, Winter kill is going to get a shot up, but Comp with a great job cleaning it up. Bonds across. Uh, what a banger. Oh, jeez. And Jarl able to clean that one up in the defensive zone. He's uh, trying to get a touch up, and he does. He's hanging on the goal line, but Bonds able to clean it up. Nice job uh, on the defensive zone, uh, right on the goal line, actually, to make the defensive play. Winter kill across. 10 seconds left. So it looks like $90 coaching game one here, uh, but definitely not by a whole bunch here. Uh, as we saw, uh, we saw that Reborn Knights was able to do something um, uh, that uh, Cream of the Crop just wasn't able to do, and that's score on this team. They, they're great on defense, uh, so you got to take the positive view, Reborn Knights, um, and see that you did play a great defensive game uh, for the most part. There was a couple breakdowns there, uh, but you did break the ice, which was something uh, that previous teams weren't able to do. Uh, so you have to take that positive rolling into game two, but they find themselves down uh, just a greatly, greatly handled uh, on the part of $90 coaching. So 1-0 in the series, and we will start game two shortly. Uh, what's going to be the key in game two to uh, uh, to see the Reborn Knights uh, come back in this one? We need to see them intercepting those passes, maybe positioning themselves a little better to stay on their opponents because we saw a lot of the time that there was just a little too much space for, you know, Comp Detroit and Jarl where they could get out ahead of them. And we need to also, I think, see some more passing plays. We need to make sure that when night um, when the knights get the ball, they gotta hold it. And and, and keep that possession definitely. Uh, that's definitely part. Uh, just like we were mentioning earlier, so. Uh, we'll see if they can make the proper adjustments here as game two is underway. We're 20 seconds in here uh, as the ball is going to go to comp here. Going to try to get it across to somebody. Uh, Beefy knew that winner was coming, so great job to <laughs> winner's coming, as in Game of Thrones. <laughs> and uh, knew that winner was coming, uh, and regardless, uh, he was able to get out of the way and get Winter to uh, clear the ball out as he gets another touch to the middle over to Beefy, who has a great shot, but comp with a great defense. Bond's not able to clean it up because it's on the goal line in Jarl just gets in the way for the defense. Bonds putting on the pressure and a great shot goes far side and able to beat the defense and just constant pressure. Right now, they hold, uh, Reborn Knights looks like a totally different team as they put the pressure on and Bonds able to finish just to the left of Comp and to the right of Detroit. It's 1-0. We saw some, you know, really good offensive pressure there. Bonds did miss that first net, but aside from all the nerves, Winter Kill just got right back and look at that winter kill wow. what a great job yeah off that back wall wasn't it uh what a read here gets a touch and then gets another one great job angling his car to make sure that he can sneak it in from that angle that's impressive that is very impressive to manage a double touch around the defense at that speed he put it off the side wall 
and then back off the back wall, and there was almost no time between it bouncing off that wall and it going straight into the net. At the highest level, if you're going to make a double touch play, while the defense is back, you have to have speed and perfect positioning around them, and that's exactly what Winterkill had in his setup right there. He did. That was absolute speed. That's raw speed. Uh, you're you're definitely right because uh, you saw he got to the ball quickly. But not only that, but uh, when you get up to speed and up to a high level speed like we're seeing right now, uh, it can be very difficult to uh, gain control of the like gain control of where the ball is going to go. Uh, read the bounces as well. The faster the ball is traveling, the harder those bounces are to read. His Bond's not able to clean this one up, and so Detroit puts it in and he cuts the lead in half. It's two to one. I think there's a lot of respect here to Jarl actually managing to sort of start to go back up and getting a beautiful 50 out to net, which was just a fantastic setup. Kind of, I think, caught the defense off guard a little. It was a really great touch from Jarl, and I think it set up a great opportunity right there that Detroit capitalized on. It did, and Detroit's trying to lay on the pressure again. His winner's got to be careful. He dribbled it across his own goal line. But it looked like he was in control the whole time, so uh, able to escape arm temporarily as BV over. Uh, was trying to play it over to Bonds, but he's going to try to take it himself, but Detroit's too quick to let that happen as there's going to be a great bounce. Oh my goodness, what a read from Winter, because uh, that one went straight down. So great read to get that one out, because that one's a little bit difficult here. As Bonds is going to try to get that angle, but it's so rough. It kind of uh, puts Winter kill out of position, and here's a shot back in. Winter's got to get a touch, and he doesn't. That's an over-the-shoulder play, so hard to get. Um, but now it's a tie game as Com puts it back and in, takes advantage of their positioning, and now it's a tie game 2-2. Yeah, I think um, right there from the Knights we have, you know, Bonds and Winterkill kind of went up, and Bonds really was kind of far out of the play. It was sort of stranded, and it left a big dent. Half the field was completely unoccupied, and you really cannot do that because at this level the teams are going to see it and they're just going to slam that ball over you and then they're not missing. And sure enough, uh, they were exposed on that play. As Beefy gets a chance here, it goes off the back. Going to try to pressure Winner, but Winner gets it out. Bonds across, but maybe too strong for Winner as Detroit's sitting there waiting for it. But uh, kind of a lazy pass over to Comp as Beefy was able to uh, try to get a challenge on that one, but uh, wasn't able to put it in his Comp. Puts the pressure on uh, off the back wall is Winner. Winner. Across, Jar wasn't able to get a touch, so Bonds will get the next one. Off the back wall of Comp. Comp gets a clear now. Jarl with a great touch to get away from Bonds, as that would have been a, a tough save for Detroit. So great job from uh, him to get that one out. Winner kill. Back into the zone. Jarl able to get a touch, but it's down to Bonds. Bonds is going to try to get it across to a team of his winner gets a touch. Bonds going to try to follow up on it, but Comp puts it across, and Beefy's going to get a shot off. But a great job again. Detroit coming up huge in the last series and again doing well here to get it out as Winner uh, tries to lay on the pressure again at Detroit. Didn't get a touch here as BB's gonna try to go across the bonds but Winner decided to go up for it and try to get a touch here is not the right move um, as he kind of threw him off here. Uh, BB with not enough boost to get that one but Bonds had a chance. Winner's gonna follow it up now off the side. Detroit tries to find a teammate but nobody home as BB's gonna try to uh, get to it, but not able to. Bonds with a great touch out to the corner. Detroit going to try to lay on the pressure here. Try to get it across, but that one's going to go straight back instead. As Beefy's waiting there, Winner's going to try to get the next touch, but Comp was there to kind of... Uh, I don't know why he was up there, but it, it kind of worked out for him as he got a touch away from him. Now Jarl in possession over to Detroit. Detroit's going to try to get it across here. Beefy with a great defense play off his own at back wall. Winner with the next touch. Detroit, he missed, so Detroit's going to put it over to Comp, who tries to get a touch, but Beefy with a great touch. If he doesn't make that touch, it would have been a wide open net. So Beefy again coming up big on the defensive end. Jarl with a back pass to Detroit, who's going to try to play the zone here. But that one's going to bounce way out to center as Jarl back to Detroit, tries to get a touch, not able to, not available. So winner back out to the side here, into the corner. Com waiting off the ceiling. So Beefy's going to try to get a chance over to kill. Everybody missed. Oh, once Winter committed and missed, everybody was assuming that he was going to hit it, so they all missed. So, <laughs> kind of a. Uh, it ended up looking like a platinum play, but it was a tough read. As Bonds is going to get a shot off. Oh, and he puts it in with eight seconds left. What a strike from Bonds. Um, and again, Reborn Knights is going to take the lead with a great feed from the Beefy Burrito, and it is three to two with eight seconds left. What a magnificent play. There's so little time, and Burrito just gets a. Very well controlled, but super powerful pass completely across the field. 
and Bond slams it 112 kilometers. That is a really tough save. It is, and what a clutch play by Beefy. That's what I... Box. What a great play by Beefy to put it across, and Bonds uh, makes no mistake about that shot. If you set him up, uh, Bonds will finish that one every single time. So 3-2 to two in this one with 8 seconds left is the story of Game 2. And so Reborn Knights now ties this series 1-1, one to one. and like I said, it, this is going to be a close series. Uh, you can already tell that um, it looks like uh, Reborn Knights has made the uh, appropriate adjustments. Now it's up to $90 coaching to make counter adjustments to try to take it in game three uh so we'll see if they can do just that yeah i think that what was really doing it for 90 dollar coaching is they were just holding the ball the whole time but they've lost their constant possession we're seeing angry war knights starting to hold on to the ball and it's giving them a lot more chances which they're scoring off of. they really are and it's uh, definitely a night and day between game one, two, no pun intended there, as Beefy's going to carry it out of his own zone to do it. Try to get a challenge on him, but Beefy still keeps his zone, gets a great touch. Detroit had to be so careful. Great save by Detroit, but Winner Kill able to put it in a great follow up from Winner after an unexpected and great save by Detroit. Uh, but he puts it in, and it's 1 0, Reborn Knights. Yeah, I think um, the team. Sorry. Um, Night Dollar coaching was a little out of position on defense, you know, Detroit made a really good awkward save, but nobody else was there to help him out and try to make sure that it got the clear. Jarl was close, but he wasn't quite fast enough, which cost them. Definitely, and Detroit's been huge uh, in the defensive zone so far, so he um, was not able to clean, like, he was able to make that impressive save off the get-go. Uh, but unfortunately, with the position he was in, he was not able to to make sure that the rebound was taken care of. So um, that's where the teammates have to come in. But Calm comes in with the strike um, and just quickly plays this ball as Beefy tries to get to the corner. Uh, but Detroit plays it off the corner and Comp in the right position. He ties it up 1-1. One, one. That is what we call perfect placement, a pure demonstration of the mechanics developing. You know, it's just, it's off the post, it's just in, you know, that perfect, powerful placement. Speed and efficiency is all about uh, when you're off the high level, and stuff like that, just being able to consistently boom it exactly where you want on the net, that is, like, such a useful skill. They made good use of that skill, too, here, as they tie the game now. One-to-one -one comp. Trying to find a teammate, but Winner was there, so uh, Detroit trying to clean it up here. It goes straight down. Good read, but but Beefy's going to try to get over to teammates. 50, and it gets out of the zone, so Bonds is going to try to follow it up here. Try to play comp here. He finds Winner in the middle, and he's going to get shot off, but a great defense again to clean it up. As Beefy gets a great shot off, that's going to get a top shelf, and Beefy goes ahead and takes the lead 2-1. to one. Yeah, we're going to see, you know, definitely... A really good, like, quick, high power shot from Beefy. You know, he gets up and he generates a lot of power very quickly. But to be honest, a lot of that came from a beautiful 50 that just popped it super high, leaving Beefy a great opportunity. It's been a great sight uh, to see Reborn Knights uh, as they have a game plan. It is uh, follow up each touch. Uh, grit get some great passes to the middle try to find the teammates in the middle oh beefy had trouble with that one but he's able to get it at least to the side temporarily they'll see if they can clear out but it's been a back and forth passing to one another um once they get that pass off they'll take a shot uh once the defense commits to the shot then they'll oh they'll have the last person come in and follow up with the rebound and that's been working for him so far I mean, it's one to one in the series. They just have one more. Oh, what a pass from BB over to Winner. Great job. Team plays from Reborn Knights, and that's exactly what I was talking about. Like, a great pass over from Beefy to Winner, who finishes. And again, if Detroit makes that save, you still had Bonds there waiting for the rebound to try to put it in. In that case, they were able to put it in right away. So, three to one now with 236 left to go. And uh, here's the kickoff, and Detroit tries to put it over to Com Bonds. Plays it up the wall, cleaning it out here. It's going back towards the net and uh, super calm as he makes that save. Bonds trying to find somebody in the middle winner, uh, not in the right spot, so kind of to uh, push it out. 
Jarl. Challenged by Winter. That one's going back into the zone as well. But again, guess who? Detroit in the defensive zone again. A great job by him. Is this one's going to go off the back wall. It's kind of hanging in the middle. And Comp has to clean it up. Now, Winter uh, going to try to put on the pressure. But Jarl there to clean it up to you. Uh, so he booms it out to the zone of Reborn. Who's going to try to get it out, Bonds. Try to clear. But Detroit in his face there with a the save. Or with a block, I should say. As Beefy tries to play it out. Comp plays it up to his teammate. Hopefully, Bonds had to play kind of go backwards in the air to get to that one. But well done by him because it was able to to get it out for now as Bonds is going to try to get a crossing play but Detroit again in the defensive zone he's been so big on defense here uh, Detroit tries to find Jarl but he's going to have to follow it up because Jarl is kind of looking for a demo there as Comp plays it temporarily to the side Bonds going to try to put it in Comp tries to clear it out but Beefy chilling there Winter's going to get a touch and a great shot what an angle from Winter as he has been disgusting in the offensive zone and that's another another great shot from Winter. Look at that angle. Yeah, I think Jarl obviously wasn't expecting such a fantastic shot because that was a really good fast shot from Winterfield. But Jarl was maybe a little bit far from the net. Could have been a little bit closer to give himself, you know, that extra little bit of time, you know, a bit less distance to travel. But I mean, it was still just a great shot. And another great team play. This time it's Beefy that's gonna put it in. Uh, but guess who set him up? It's going to be winner kill. Uh, so $90 coaching got comfortable in their uh, advantage as far as skill-wise in the tournament so far until they reach Reborn Knights, who have said not so fast. Uh, maybe we're the force to be reckoned with in this tournament. Beefy puts in another one. And sure enough, winter is coming. <laughs> so Bonds looking to try to get a touch here, but Winter's going to uh, put it up in the air. One minute left, and it looks like uh, it actually looks like um, uh, they're going to play out the last 55 seconds because $90 coaching has left the match. They'll put in another one. They'll probably put in another one to put the Brazil in. We'll see if, uh, we'll see if they're uh, that clever here. They'll probably uh, just clean this one up, get it to 7-1 to in, and wait. So they'll kill the 50 seconds here. They'll probably, we'll see if they uh, the Brazil, but that's going to be a victory for Reborn Knights. They sure do. It's 7-1 now. The Brazil is real, so we'll probably run out the time now. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and check out the rest of the the rest of the bracket here. As Nyala coaching it falls to Reborn Knights, who are going to be in the winner's final. Again, that is not the grand final. That's just going to be the competition competition between the two teams that have made it this far in the winner's bracket. Uh, the winner of that will be in the grand finals. And again, they only have to win one series once they get to the grand final in order to win the grand final. If, if you come, if you lose in the winner's final, again, you go back down to the loser's bracket and you'll have to play your way into the grand final. Um, and if you're able to play your way into the grand final, then you have to win two series to win uh, the grand final. So we'll see how it shapes up. Queen Slate was able to take out Texas's back in the bottom half of the bracket here. Uh, so Queen Slate is going to be moving on to the winner's final here, which will broadcast. So it'll be Queen Slate versus Reborn Knights. And we'll see if Reborn Knights can carry this momentum into the next round.